Welcome back to BuildBox Academy. This is part six in our tutorial on how to build a mobile game using BuildBox 3. So I'm going to go ahead and open the project that we saved last time. Uh, so this is part five. So if you don't have this yet, you can head over to buildboxacademy.com and download it. Um, so I'm going to assume you have this file and we're going to carry on uh, from where we left off. So let's just check where we were up to. So we've got the play screen and we can collect coins good so that's looking good and i think we had uh yeah we've got a couple of we've got two levels so what would be good uh, i think right off the bat is to um, look at adding a checkpoint so that when you die here you don't go all the way back to the beginning um, so yeah if i quickly run this you'll see if i die here and then try again ah is because we're only playing that scene. But if I'd started from the beginning here, it would send us right back. So what we need is a, a checkpoint so that we can carry on. So let's go to the asset library. I'm gonna add a cylinder, because this is gonna be used as our checkpoint. Uh, let's just call that checkpoint. Uh, let's drag that in. We'll get it positioned. Perfect. Um, let's go into here. We'll give it a green color. Perfect. And we'll make it. We'll make it static for now, so it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, so if we play, yeah. All right. Uh, so let's go back into there. So what we need here is we need a let's set checkpoint. Uh, if and um, we need an if collide so we want um, we're going to enable that and then if the character collides with this object we want to set the checkpoint so we know where to come back to the collision shape is a cylinder and the affected asset is the character so if the character collides we're going to set a checkpoint there's a couple of other things we need to add in here uh, for the player we need to add a checkpoint node in here as well. Uh, and this is the load checkpoint we need in here. And you just hook that up to the created. Uh, so that basically tells our character um, when, we, when we restart, we get to the checkpoint, we need to load the character. There's, almost, uh, there's also one more part to this. And if we go back to the uh, mind map here, we need to go into our 3D world or we'll have it selected and edit components and again if we search for checkpoint we need to load the checkpoint from this position um, so let's go ahead and save that now uh, let's um, we're going to play from the beginning so let's go from here uh, so you'll see if we for example if we die here we go right back to this point. Uh, so let's let's go through this level. And here we go. Let's hope I make this. Yep. Okay. Over our twisting platforms. Okay, so I can see the checkpoint there. Let's get over this. All right, so hopefully that has set the checkpoint. So now, uh, when we die, we should restart on that point. Yep. Okay. All right, but uh, you might have noticed that it's actually reset our ball there and made it um, and made it rather large uh, because the actual um, size of the. Let's go. Hang on a minute. Let's just load it from there. So yeah, so our ball's that size. We die. Oh, we'd probably have to play it from the beginning. Oh, I'll maybe set the checkpoint, set the checkpoint. And now we're going to restart from the checkpoint and the ball's huge. And I think that is because we, uh, we originally in the, at the start of the 3d world on set one here, we changed the scale in the game world to 0.5. So if we set this to one, we make our ball larger here. But if we actually go into the model, and let's change the size 0.5 so we're changing the actual size of the model rather than the size of it in the game world 
uh, sphere. We're going to have to change the scale of these two because these are the uh, collision. These are the collision uh, bounding boxes. If we go here, yep. So you can see there we've actually got a cube and a circle, and that is let's select our sphere. Here. and there you'll see we've got two collide objects there and that needs to be that one's fine um, so let's set that to 0 0.5 0 0.5 that's that one done and then uh, if collide with an enemy is actually set to a cube so we want a sphere and we'll just set this to 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 perfect so now um, when we go, let's see, where are we? If we go here, run it from here, set the checkpoint. Try again. Yep, and he's come up the same size. Uh, let's go. What we could do, I wonder if uh, color, uh, set color. So if collide, we're gonna set, uh, let's set the color of the checkpoint. Well, we could actually let's make we're going to set the when it when you select the checkpoint it's going to go green and let's change the color of this uh, let's kind of change it just to a a dull about a dull green and then it can kind of light up when we hit it let's try that whoops we need to go start on here Okay, perfect. So we know we've set the checkpoint there. And if we die, then we'll start again from there. Excellent. Okay, and one other thing I want to do is speed up the game. So in here, time warp, if you change this number, uh, we can actually speed it up. So if I set it to three, for example, just to give an extreme example, we'll go play. Yeah, and you can see it's kind of gone into hyperdrive. Um, but let's do 1.5 I think should be good so if we head into the play yeah uh, maybe we'll go 1 point, 1 point 1.4 let's see how that is yeah that's not bad not bad so you can play around with these and kind of make the game yeah, that's that feels good. A little bit faster, nice. All right. Uh, and one thing I was thinking about um, changing our uh, in our game our coins we have there. I was thinking about changing those for um, for rings instead, a bit like Sonic. So I'm going to get rid of those and let's just change the mesh here. Let's save that. Um, play. Ah, yeah, there we are. Uh, so they're looking a little flat. We just need to check the numbers 0 0.6. There we are. Now you might notice here, um, let's just change this camera. We can probably zoom in a little bit. Yes, yeah, so the um, the rings are looking pretty flat and not particularly sparkly. Uh, but what we can do, if we go in here, we can increase the specular intensity and the specular hardness, and this will give it, uh, as you can see there, it's kind of, uh, it's now got a bit of a bit of a shine to it. And I think if we go and play, yeah, can you see our rings are looking a lot more shiny now? Um, let's have a look. I don't know if that changes. No, that doesn't change in real time. Uh, let's refresh that. Whoop. Yeah, so you can play around with these numbers and um, and get something that looks good. Yeah. So you, hopefully you can see that that these are kind of sparkling now rather than being flat. Uh, I'm just going to remove the sound so we don't get that playing all the time. Yeah. 
Okay, that looks good. Um, so we set up our checkpoint. And let's, uh, we'll just zoom back out of there a minute. Let's go back to the start. Okay. All right, that's looking good. Um, let's do uh, let's do a little bit more on this on this level. I think. Um, let's add. Uh, I was going to add another obstacle. I think. Oops. Let's just get rid of that one for now. This is our moving. We'll call this moving cube. And let's get this dragged in here. Uh, and I'm going to make this smaller. And this one, uh, I'm going to get this to kind of move back and forwards. Uh, that's going to need to be longer. Yeah, so we're going to get it to kind of move like this, I think. Um, just setting up these numbers to get it, to get it looking good. Uh, moving cube, kinematic. Yep. Okay. So it's not moving yet. Let's go into here. Uh, we're going to give it a color. We'll give it a color and let's. Uh, what are we looking for? Position animation. Once created, uh, just let's have a look from here. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to need two of those. Let's see, 10. Let's just check this. Ah, that's annoying. We have to start from here to see it right. So it is the last, uh, let's see, 0, 10. Let's try that one. 3D World. Yep. All right, so now we're getting somewhere. So probably want that on about eight. Duration two. And then when it's done, we want it to move back. So minus 10, uh, zero, and that's gonna take two seconds. We need to actually click back to the 3D world then play it from there. So it's gonna move that way and then that way. Okay. And hopefully, uh, let's see, where's the moving cube? And when it's done, so we're hopefully going to get a bit of a loop going on there. Let's check that. Yeah, that's looking, that's looking good. Um, Let's do minus eight on that one. Oh, we're already on minus eight. Let's do minus six or six and minus six. Duration 1.5, duration 1.5. Click back to the 3D world and run it from there. Yeah, I think this is uh, this could work out quite well. Uh, maybe we're going to go back minus eight and then eight. Oh, that is annoying. You have to keep going back to the 3D world. Then we'll play it from this scene. Oh, yeah. OK, this is going to require some <laughs> tweaking there, but that could be kind of a fun game mechanic there. Um, all right, I'm going to play around with this a bit more um, and 
we'll see how this goes. Uh, I'll get this all lined up because uh, I think it's going to take a little bit of tweaking to get it just right. Um, but I'm going to wrap it up there for, day, for today. So hopefully that's kind of shown you how we can set up a, a checkpoint because uh, you can make you know you can make as many of these as you like and place them wherever you like and as long as you hit the checkpoint you will then get to restart from that checkpoint um, which is which is pretty good you know see so we we start again from that point which is good uh, if you want to create longer levels and kind of have midway checkpoints a little like Mario and stuff like that so anyway you can download this file from buildboxacademy.com. You'll just need to sign up for a free subscription. Uh, it doesn't cost anything to get this one. You just need an account on the site. Uh, so head over there to download this file. Um, and that's it for today. And I will see you in part seven.